are wonderful, dear viewers and listeners. We read as well about the river of life in the last book of Revelation that flows from the throne of God. And we read of the tree of life by that river whose leaves are for the healing of the nations. And if ever the nations need healed, it's now. But God, God knows the very end from the very beginning. There's no Omicron with God, only Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Welcome to this, our medical healing service tonight. And as we begin with a time of prayer and intercession before God, join me now. You know, there are times when the enemy of souls, also known as Satan or the devil or the old serpent, whose time is short, by the way, and who is only a created being, one of the angels, not at all on equal par with God. There are times when he goes too far. But did you know, Jesus himself said, all power and authority is given unto me. Therefore he gives it to us, his body on the earth, to make disciples of all nations, to preach the gospel to every creature. And we have all authority that wherever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And that whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. So let's have that time. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we approach your throne room tonight, let us realize who we are in Christ Jesus. Let us realize Hallelujah. That we are primarily spirit beings who have a soul, mind, will, and emotions and live in a body. Therefore, we are three in one, made in the image of God who is three in one. Oh, hallelujah. We glorify you today, Lord. We realize the authority thou hast given thy church on the earth. And today, Lord, we come before you to confess it. So often we have not understood or used that authority or used it in the way that thou will desires for us. Oh, Lord. All those years ago, even before Pentecost, thou sent out thy 12 disciples and then 70 that even then, they could walk the roads of Galilee and Israel and they could <laughs> preach the gospel, heal the sick and cast out devils. But even then, Father God, Thou told us then in the name of Jesus, through Thy Son, Jesus Christ, not to rejoice that the devils were subject to them, but rather that their names of these wonderful apostles and disciples were written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And oh, Father God, today we glorify thy precious name. As we read thy word, let's make this a prayer too. We read thy word. And from Isaiah, chapter 40 the great prophet who says in verses 1 following comfort ye comfort ye my people saith your God speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. 
the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Oh Father God in the name of Jesus the voice that crieth in the wilderness, the end time remnant, thy church, that crieth in the wilderness, in the dry places of the earth, but will still cry, prepare ye the way of the Lord, for he is coming soon. We prepare that way now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill made low, the crooked straight and the rough places plain. And also, Father God, we read in this wonderful chapter from verse 18, To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? And then, you understand in verse 21, Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is He, God Almighty, that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants sit over as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Remember these words. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will you liken me? Or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and behold who hath created these things that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Hallelujah. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest to Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Thou art the creator and the sustainer of the universe. 
Thou art the one who is able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before the throne. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, 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 thou criest out now. We feel thy heart breaking, Lord God. And oh, man, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Oh, Lord, our heart is breaking it. The hardened hearts on the earth, those who have turned their faces away from thee. And there are so many millions and millions on the earth of thy creation, Lord. The dear people who have not yet heard the gospel. Lord, open the curtains. Open the curtains over the earth, Lord. Thou hast already through thy precious Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died for us on the cross, shed his blood and rose again. Already when he passed from, when he gave up and voluntarily surrendered his spirit unto thee, Lord, on the cross, the veil of the temple was broken in two, torn in two, the thick veil of the temple torn into supernaturally and so many rose from the graves and were seen walking the streets of Jerusalem oh Lord for thou art one who has healed in all divisions Lord thou art one who tore the veil in two and became the only mediator the man Jesus Christ between man and God no more veil no more veil but direct access to thee and what thou hast done for us but thy heart is breaking lord but know it is we know it is and thou is shedding many tears in heaven for the sin that walketh the earth and as in the days of nehemiah who rebuilt the physical walls of Jerusalem and the physical temple. So thy end time remnant church, we are there to build up the broken places. Spiritually, Lord, spiritually. For as in the days of Nehemiah, so it is now there is sin in the very heart of the so-called church. As the evil people who call themselves priests, even the high priest himself was corrupt in the time of Nehemiah. And unholy things were kept in the very temple, the anteroom of the temple, the treasury of the temple. Even now there's this corruption. Lord, no matter what it takes, purify thy church, thy, thy, people, thy people. No matter what it takes, thou hast already shown such mercy. For thou art not willing that any should perish. We know thou hast shown mercy, but also that judgment has to come. Oh, Father God, we pour out our hearts to you now. Let there be no holding back, no turning back, no backsliding, no murmuring. But all for Jesus. In the words of that wonderful, wonderful hymn, all to Jesus I surrender. Let's do this in prayer right now and mean it. Thy word says to submit to God. We do that tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And resist the devil. But first submit to God, then resist the devil, and he shall flee from us. And we have already, in the name of Jesus tonight, even before this meeting, taken authority over disruptive spirits, spirits of confusion, spirits of death, and all those other hosts that have tried to destroy and disrupt the church. 
But yet thy word says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And we stand on that promise and all the promises of God. Ye and amen. And forever thy word is settled in heaven. And Lord, we believe tonight, Lord, we believe all things are possible, Lord. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. Do you hear the words of the hymn? It's the melody of the hymn. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. Where rivers of pleasure I see. You see, He protects us if we only ask Him first and come to Him first and give Him the preeminence first and move in the authority He's given us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the words of this hymn, he hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry, thirsty land. How true. And he covers us with his wings tonight. Tonight, dear brothers and sisters, viewers and listeners, let's read Psalm 91 as a prayer and let's really believe it. It saddens God, you know, to see people who are even committed Christians or sometimes call themselves committed Christians, but yet they are swayed and influenced by the things of the world and they only come to God afterwards. And it's too late sometimes. When He should always be our first call. Let's read Psalm 91 and believe it tonight. Really believe it. It's not just empty words. I know it's a well-known psalm, but we're meant to say it with belief and trust in Him completely. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy feet, foot against a stone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thou art our healer, our rock, our fortress, our strong deliverer. Jesus. Jesus is all we need. 
Listen to that wonderful chorus now. He's all we need. He's all we need. Jesus is all we need. Everything. Everything. And there is none else but the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The three in one that stretches out his right hand to protect his people. That sends his judgment upon the earth. Is all we need. Jesus is all we need. Oh Father God, Shindi Rama Sukuya, Shinama Sukuya. Sing to him tonight. Sing in heavenly language. Sing in the spirit. Pray in the spirit and with understanding. Jesus is all we need tonight. His right hand hath helped us, hath made us strong. He is our healer. He is our healer. Oh, Father God, I pray tonight for those tormented by evil spirits. I pray for those who have sickness and disease which cannot always be seen or discerned by others. Mental health issues. In particular tonight, you know the inner conflict in their hearts, Lord, in their minds, Lord. Thou canst heal everything. Everything from those diseases and infirmities which can be seen right through to those which cannot be seen by the naked eye. Thou healest everything. For thou made atonement on the cross, not only for sin, sorrow, mourning and grieving, but also for sickness and disease. All the work that came from the curse all those years ago in the Garden of Eden, thou hast overcome all of that. And you're the saviour of my soul, says this chorus. Beautiful, beautiful Jesus. Says sing a new song unto the Lord. Serve him. Serve him with righteousness, peace and joy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Acknowledge him as king of the whole universe and also king of your heart tonight. For he is so great, the creator of the whole universe. And yet, he loves us so much that he sees each one of us and longs to dwell within our hearts by faith. Thus said the Lord, I have robes of righteousness, my righteousness, and crowns of gold, and wonderful palm leaves for all my saints, for all that will receive me and walk with me on the earth and be received up to the glory of the kingdom. Jesus, 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 we thank you tonight. Oh, we love you tonight and forever. We feel that peace, that healing balm of Gilead tonight. He sent his word and healed them. 
said, if you obey and serve me, keep my commandments, I will put none of the diseases on thee at all the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee, the covenant promise of healing. Oh Lord, that we need to believe. Lord, our lives have got so complicated in these last days. There are so many barriers to fully trusting Thee. Sometimes even the apparent good things are barriers. So-called benefits. All these things like pensions and insurances and unemployment benefit and social security and all these things so we miss you see in Psalm 103 it says forget not the Lord and all his benefits all his goodness to us everything we have comes from him and he is our healer yes he heals to doctors and nurses and others in the health service but he is the one who created them he gave them the knowledge. He is our creator. Without him, there would be nothing, no knowledge, nothing at all. And he is wisdom. The wisdom of God is what we need more than anything. But the wisdom of the world is foolishness and is passing away. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We love you right now. And we give you thanks, not only for what you've done, but for all that you're going to do tonight and in these future days. And let's sing now. Amen and amen. Let's sing. Give thanks with a grateful heart.
We give thee thanks, Lord God. We do give thee thanks for everything. For everything. We wouldn't even be here without thee. And thou hast kept us alive and well and strong in thy strength through all the troubles and temptations and devices of the enemy because thou hast given us the victory 2,000 years ago. And now let, let the weak see I am strong and let the poor see I am rich because of what the Lord has done for the sick. And now let the sick say, I am whole. Let the bound say, I am free. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. You know, the devil don't want me to tell you this. Mm-hmm. But before our program tonight, there is, uh, was a huge furore going on in the spirit. Lindsay was going wild. In the spirit. In the spirit, just as our Lord went wild with the money changes in the temple. It was as if everything was coming at us. Pamela in her program was battling through mm. And battling very well, let it be said. Oh, the amen. devil was trying to stop us singing the lovely hymn she was singing. We have our dear brother Brian Mason in the Galloway Community Hospital, Stranra. It was difficult to see him today. We've uh, we've ha got two cars needing healing today. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that, but nothing. Pamela's car was there in the Halford's garage in Newton Stewart with a lovely guy called Thomas opened up to Lindsay. Yes, God bless over him. Over the battles and we pray for him and we love him and we, we bless him. He's a mechanic there in Newton Stewart. I think he's a head one actually. He's a head, he's a big boy. At the Halford's garage, McConaughey's mm, garage in right. Newton Stewart, and we love them and we bless them. Amen. And they, they healed your car, Pamela. She's over Amen. here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And they're putting a, an engine in our ministry car here as well. And all is happening there. And we couldn't get to see Brian. And Brian was distressed uh, over not seeing us today. We've been in to see him every day. He's had miracle after miracle. Mm. People have said to Lindsay, well, if healing is for all, why is it that Brian is not moving in his healing? Well, I tell you, he has. You know, he was. let's just not mess around here. Witchcraft is a very real thing. Mm. I remember myself having five bouts of pneumonia and months in hospital on five separate occasions, three times in emergency ambulance with pain like you mm. cannot describe. Even morphine was not able to stop the pain. Mm. And morphine is something they give rarely and it's for extreme pain and it yeah. did not work. And I was sent in agony to hospital. And to cut a long story short, a miracle happened. I knew the Lord Jesus was going to come. 
And on the fifth time of pneumonia diagnosed, I felt I was going to die sometimes and was distressed in hospital myself. And Lindsay had a word with lovely nurses at the Glan Cluid Hospital. I think it was on Ward 12, the mm. respiratory ward. Because respiratory conditions are very real. Let's mm. not mess around. Mm. But this Jesus came to me in that ward and lifted me up to walk these heavenly places and overcome what was a serious life-threatening condition. Now, our dear brother, Brian, is in a serious life-threatening condition mm -hmm. at the moment. We're not messing around with you. And we love him and we bless mm -hmm. him. And he was quite distressed mm -hmm. tonight. So we're being open with you. And you know, doesn't the Bible say, Lindsay, when we're open with one another, you shall be healed? Yeah, that's the secret. You know, when you keep the pretenses, Keep things behind the sea. When it comes in the open, the yes. light removes the darkness. If I might just add one yeah, small thing relevant to that. You know when they talk about the powers of darkness, the powers of evil, they usually use the word the occult. Yeah. Well, that comes from Latin where it, it. it means oculo oculary, which means <laughs> to heal, or uh, sorry, to hide or conceal. So the devil thrives on secrets. Can you feel and the hidden things coming? The healing coming? Amen. The Bible says, confess your faults one to another that ye may be healed. And we were battling with Brian tonight. Mm. He was distressed. We he was very tormented. To him. And the authority we have as a believer, we are using now. Amen. Binding the spirits of darkness and bringing that distress and bringing him peace tonight. Amen. That's what was going Jehovah on. Jehovah Shalom, mm. the Lord our peace. Mm. And Father, we thank you for the miracles that have occurred the last two and a half years since mm. Brian was on that road with the gospel to South Sudan, or almost on that road, I should say. He was in Uganda, Kampala booked on a service bus to go to Juba. I knew in my spirit it was a dangerous place to go. I knew in my spirit, Lindsay, there was child abductions, great witchcraft, great yeah, evil. Absolutely. And a lovely lady called Milka phoned up in intercession over Brian this week. And we thank the Lord for it. And I feel that intercession going tonight mm. into the Dalrymple Ward in the uh, Galloway Community Hospital in Stranra. Father, the name of Jesus, we send your angels into that place. Yes, because you bind and loose, you loose yes. the angels. Yes. You bind the spirit, yes. you loose the any evil yeah, spirit, and loose the angels. angels into that place tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, mm -hmm. that thy glory should come upon the Galloway community hospital I and mean, we thank you for the lovely doctors and nurses there working so Amen. hard with so many patients there in difficult situations we're sending we're loosing the angels into that place in the Garrick ward and the Dalrymple ward in the name of Jesus Man. nothing can come against us and sand the battle belongs to the Lord you know the Bible says Lindsay when the devil comes in and people often quote the devil as having a flood. They say, when the devil comes in like a flood. Yeah. Well, they forget that this is coming from the Old Testament, so it's in Hebrew. And they forget where the abbreviation marks are. The, the punctuation. Comma. That's the word, the punctuation marks. That's, thank you, Lindsay, for correcting me there. They, 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 they forget there is a comma. When the devil comes in, comma, mm -hmm. like a flood, so shall I lift the banner against him. Amen. The devil is not capable of a spit, never mind a flood. It is us who has the flood. And with that flood of glory, we come against the devil today in the name of Jesus and bind him up cast him out and declare victory in the Dalrymple and Garrick wards 
in the Amen. Galloway Community Hospital. Good stuff. Amen. Amen. Now, did you know, no wonder we're called to have these miracle healing services. The devil don't like it. Within 20 miles of this place, and I've just checked the record on BBC News, the Broken Biscuit Corporation News, <laughs> or British Brainwashing Corporation, you could also say, BBC. Yeah. But I believe this information they have is correct. Within 20 miles of this place, Whitton, Scotland, and the Maccas Peninsula, are figures showing the second highest COVID rates in Europe. Really? Just Even I didn't know this. Just miles from this place. And I know why. Just 20 miles from this place is one of the major centers of witchcraft in the whole of Europe. You know where that place is? The Isle of Man? The Isle of Man. Oh, I pick it up in the spirit today. Isn't it interesting? It has a flag of the occult. Yeah, Triskali. The Triskali. The 666. Oh, Father, we come in Jesus' name over the Isle of Man tonight. We pray for the Christians there to realize what's going on. I'm telling you, it's spiritual. Mm. And just as witchcraft came against me to give me pneumonia and the Lord Jesus delivered me to walk the heavenly places and overcome every difficulty. So in the name of Jesus, I speak to the spirits over the Isle of Man. I bind you in Jesus' name. I cast you out. I declare the victory of the Lord Jesus that the truth comes out. Who is the truth? Jesus. And it comes out into the open, the cause of that COVID rate. In the Isle of Man. Lindsay, thank you. What a meeting we're having tonight, praise the Lord. Father, we love you. We worship and adore you. Glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name, glorify your name, glorify your name in all the earth. Jesus, we love you, we worship and adore you. Glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name in all the earth. You know? We're living in the last days. Matthew 24 doesn't talk of one pestilence. It talks of pestilences. Mm. Jesus didn't talk just of one set of circumstances coming upon the earth in the last days, but many wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes. We are in these last days, and my prayer today is the truth comes out into the open. Because what we are dealing with tonight are evil spirits 
operating like never before in the earth. But we have authority over these spirits in the name of Jesus. And I am going to bring the truth of this pandemic out into the open tonight in Jesus' name. All over the world, we are witnessing the most extraordinary circumstances probably any of us have seen in our lifetimes. And I know the instigator of these circumstances, who's having his final run-in before the rapture, and then the tribulation. I am seeing things in the Spirit so clearly tonight that I am going to share with you my intercession. And it covers three areas of Scripture. The first being in Proverbs. Hallelujah. The second area of Scripture being in the Epistle to the Colossians. And the third area in the second epistle to the Corinthians. The key to overcoming in these last days is to bring out the truth. The truth being not a thing, but a person. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. And there is an intercession going on to bring out the truth over the cause of this pandemic. Now, you can't cut me off YouTube for saying this. Well, you can if you go the devil's way. But how can you morally cut me off YouTube and any other social media platform for praying for the truth to come out? For behind all that's going on is major witchcraft. David Spangler one of the founders of the New World Order and the Findhorn in Scotland, declared that to be a part of this New World Order, you have to go through an initiation to Satan. I am telling you this today, that the author of disease is Lucifer himself. And to overcome him, we do not do this by armed substances, but in the name above every name. Oh yes, the truth has to come out. Attend to my words. Three areas of scripture tonight. Area number one from the Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear into my saints. And even the British church newspaper is advertising through its editorial a different course. Attend to my words. All oh, this is going into the spirit realm. Attend to my words. Attend to my words. Attend to my words. A little teaching here. Romans 8, 26, 27. The spirit helpeth our infirmities. Greek word after there doesn't mean sickness, disease, or that kind of thing. It means mental inability. We're dealing with what we're calling the God factor. 
and the Spirit and the Son, it tells us there in Romans, intercede to the Father continuously for it. And we can move into those intercessions. It means the breakthrough. The truth is coming out tonight. Deliverances and freedom are coming out tonight. The glory of the Lord is coming out tonight. Why? I'm saying those words. The Spirit and the Son are interceding to the Father. Attend to my words. Attend to my words. Attend. I hear it in the Spirit. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. All over the place, young people are getting heart attacks. For some reason. Seems I'm not allowed to tell you the reason why. <laughs> I'm not going to. You work it out for yourself. Got names of five footballers. Who died from heart attacks. I'm making no comment of why. But I want to know why so many young athletes are either becoming very sick or getting heart attacks. Deceased football players are 29 year old Mukhalid Al Rakadi from Oman. 23-year-old Croatian, Marin Kekic. 28-year-old Algerian, Sofian Luka. 24-year-old Egyptian, Ahmed Amin. 25-year-old Marcus Minaldo from Guatemala. I'm just reporting fact. Dr. Mike Yaden, former vice president with Pfizer, has sounded a worldwide alarm in relation to young athletes at this time. Now, that's the fact. Our intercession is for the truth to come out. Tend to my words. It is my words that don't give heart attacks. The word says they are life unto them that find them and health unto all their flesh. The truth is to come out for signs, wonders, and miracles. Our first area of scripture tonight from the Proverbs, attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them, health unto all your flesh. Satan. It's an old Pentecostal song. The blood of Jesus is against you. The word says, attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them, health unto all their flesh. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. You see, it was on the cross of Calvary. Jesus shed his blood. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. And he was bruised for our iniquities. Surely he bore our sorrows and griefs. Hebrew words, coli and makeup, meaning sickness and disease, 
Matthew 8, 16, 17, that it might be fulfilled, that which is spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that he himself took our sickness and disease. And by his stripes we are healed. Has fear and doubt come against your life? Has your faith been surely tried? How's it go, Lindsay? So lift, lift up your arms, your help. It is Jesus, and for you, he has died. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He will cleanse you and make you whole. You see? Attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them. Our theme tonight the truth must come out. Is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus, is against you. It's old Pentecostal song. Satan, the blood of Jesus, is against you. We will give God. We will give God. We will give God all of our praise. There's a second verse. Miracles, signs, and wonders in the last days. That's what's coming. The truth's coming out. The realization that what a man in a lab can do is nothing when it comes to the blood of Christ. Miracles, signs, and wonders in the last days. Miracles, signs, and wonders in the last days. Get ready. We will give God. We will give God. We will give God all of our praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, oh Lord. We praise you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, are you coming to him tonight? He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by him. Come unto Jesus and give him your life today. Our second area of scripture is the epistle of Paul to the Colossians. Who tells us, oh, what glorious scriptures are these? And the Spirit and the Son intercede. They're interceding, attend to my words. But what are his words? This is our second area. These are the words of the intercession going through to the Father. I speak it over the Isle of Man. I speak it over Britain. I speak it over Europe. I speak it over the world for the end time revival of realization. That can only happen when the truth comes out of the one who hath delivered us from the power of darkness. His name is Jesus. Oh, there's no other name. You need to have a jab of Jesus in your heart tonight. Hallelujah. You need to be double jabbed tonight. Jabbed by Jesus. In his word, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you need to be boosted tonight. Boosted in the word of God and be sanctified, delivered, set free. He is our booster. The one who had translated us 
into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. And all this is going unto the Father. Come and join us tonight. Come into this miracle tonight. Come into this miracle healing service tonight and be set free. Who is the setter freer? His name is Jesus. Who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Our second area of scripture. Area one, attend to my words. Area two, what are his words? Who hath delivered us? Hallelujah. For by him were all things created in heaven, in earth, visible, invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things. By him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. British church newspaper who have got it dramatically wrong in their editorial. His name is Jesus. Give him your life today. His name is Jesus. Let him have his way. His name is Jesus. Give him your life today. His name is Jesus. Let him have his way. Hallelujah. Our first area, moving in the Spirit, the intercession of the Son and the Spirit unto the Father, Romans 8, 26, 27. Attend to my words. Attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them, health to all their flesh. Area 2, Scripture, who hath delivered us from every power of darkness, if we give him the preeminence. And area three, and this is where we're bringing the light into the darkness. For in area three we read, it is the God of this world who has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light I'm switching on the light today. I'm switching on the light today. I'm bringing the realization of the truth of what is going on in these last days so that people will see and grasp the opportunity to come to the cross of Calvary where we see the light, hallelujah, of him crucified, not only crucified, but him risen for again because he rose again with healing in his wings. Tend to my words. Area number one. Area number two, who hath delivered us. Area number three, recognize the devourer of souls who has blinded the eyes of those who believe not, lest the glorious light of the gospel should shine on them. What is this intercession? The shining of light. Come and sing it again, Lindsay. Let the people come to the Lord tonight. Give thanks. Remember to sing, Lindsay. Give thanks. And now, let the sick say, I am whole. 
at the bone say I, I am free, free because, sing it that way, yeah. because of what the Lord has done. Are you coming tonight? Are you coming tonight for your booster? Hallelujah! Not the booster of the Lamb, but the booster of the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen! Let's receive him tonight. Father, we come in the name of Jesus, giving thanks for the Savior and his sacrifice on the cross. For it is here we receive our booster. It is here that we become saved, washed by the blood of the Lamb. It is here that we receive healing. It is here that we are delivered and set free. It is here that we give him the preeminence in our life. Not my will, Lord, but thine. It is here that we accept him as our Lord, for he is the Savior, not only of our spirits, not only of our souls, that is our minds, he is the Savior of our bodies. If the same Spirit, oh yes, that raised Christ from the dead, dwell within you, he shall quicken your mortal body. Amen. Amen. Oh, that oh wonderful. glory to God. Oh, yes. Praise you, Lord. How wonderful. Give him the praise Remember and the give old the glory. chorus. Hallelujah. Of Tony Give him the praise. It's wonderful what God but can do. Remember, remember that one. I His precious it, word is ever true. I know the Lord will answer you. It's, it's wonderful what God can do. It's wonderful. It's wonderful what God can do. His precious word is ever true. I know the Lord will answer you. It's wonderful what God can do. And in the oil and the wine, the kind that restoreth my soul. He found me bleeding and dying on the Jericho road, and he caught it the oil and the wine. And it's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. And we we are complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. We are complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. We are complete in him. And if the same spirit that raised Christ to the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. And if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you, dwell in you, he shall quicken your mortal body. If the spirit dwell in you, he shall quicken your mortal body. If the spirit dwell in you, hallelujah. You healed tonight. Are you moving in resurrection glory? Come to Jesus. Lindsay, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we love it. We love it. We love it. And don't forget, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. Hallelujah. Who can tell what God can do? Who can tell of his love for you? In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we have the victory because it's power, power, wonder working power in the blood in, in the blood. of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. And let's give thanks because of all that. Give thanks with a great heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks 
because he's given Jesus Christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Hard now, let the sick say, I am whole. Let the bound say, I am free. Because of what the Lord has done for Say, I am whole, and let the bound say, I am free, because of what the Lord has done for us. Give Given Jesus Christ, His Son. Oh, now let the weak say, I am strong, and let the poor say, I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. I'm sick now. Say, I am whole from the bound, and the bounds say, I am free because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks with all your hearts tonight. Let's do it. Let's give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Woo! Give thanks. And mean it. Let's all do that. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Or tonight, anointing in the freedom of God. you 